Hey everybody, welcome back to another Pitching Ninja's Filthiest Pitches of the Day. Before I get to those pitches, remember to hit subscribe and help grow this channel. And without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with you, Darvish, who threw seven innings, gave up only one run, and had five strikeouts, thanks to these wicked splitters. You might ask why a hitter swings at a splitter that's out of the zone. Well, here's an overlay of a fastball that Alec Thomas hit for a double, and the splitter in the dirt. And now you can see why he would swing at the splitter. It looks a lot like the fastball that he crushed earlier in the game. David Peterson struck out seven and five and a third scoreless innings thanks to these vicious sliders. Josh Winkowski was solid yesterday, giving up only two runs and six and two thirds innings and had this absolute paint. Lance Lynn wasn't that filthy on the bump, giving up five runs, three earned over five innings, but his mouth was filthy walking off the bump. He strikes out Vlad Jr. and lets out a And then my favorite thing in baseball is Lance Lynn striking out the last hitter of any inning because he loses his mind. Here he yells out you and piece of And then K's George Springer to get the last out of the inning and explodes like a giant expletive firework. Watching Lance strike out the last hitter of an inning is my guilty pleasure. Oh. Lance is back, kids. It also fires his team up. Here's Lucas Giolito talking about it. Gio, if you're watching out there, watching them scream and yell, does that get you fired up? Does watching Lance doing his little turnaround uh, nut grab or whatever he's doing, um, does, that, does that fire everybody up? Always. I think it's like the coolest thing ever. I, whenever a guy, whether it be another starter, especially Lance, because he's like his theatrics are like the greatest ever or a reliever because they're always going for the gauntlet, which is that's the, the strike out the side award that they had. It's like when as soon as he strikes out two guys in the inning, I'm on the edge of my seat because it's like if he gets that third one, like I cannot wait to see what's coming. Corbin Burns did Corbin Burns things yesterday, striking out 10 batters in seven innings, giving up only two hits. An amazing display of cutters and curveballs. And here is what I consider the prettiest pitch in baseball, Corbin Burns' backdoor cutter, absolutely painted. It is so subtle. A hitter gives up on it thinking it's a ball, and it ends up catching the zone. Just beautiful. Hang it in the Louvre. Burns' ERA is down to 2.31 this year, and... If Sandy Alcantara falters, he's right in the Cy Young hunt. Burns outdueled Miles Michaelis, who had this wicked two-seamer. Max Fried was brilliant yesterday with eight strikeouts and seven innings, giving up only one run. He had his gorgeous curveball, these six sliders, and his newest plus weapon, his nasty changeup. He also painted with this 98-mile-an-hour fastball. Well, it was an inadvertent paint, but there are no mistakes there are only happy accidents. Don't worry about it. We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. He also picked off a base runner yet again. And here's that pickoff move. If you're a left-handed pitcher, take note, because his is about as good as anybody's in the game. Logan Webb had seven strikeouts in seven innings, giving up only one run, thanks to these change-ups and this UFO slider. Look at that thing go. Shane McClanahan showed why he's a contender for the AL Cy Young. He had eight strikeouts in six innings, giving up only four hits and one run. He had his usual fastball working, as well as his curveball and slider, but the pitch that really stood out was his changeup. Dude has so many weapons, and his changeup is a plus pitch. Here's an overlay of his slider and changeup, and you can see why those pitches work so well together. McClanahan has the most strikeouts in baseball and the third lowest ERA in baseball. Just a complete stud. But my most dominant pitcher of the night was Garrett Cole. Cole took a no-hitter into the eighth inning, had 12 strikeouts, and was just peak Garrett Cole. When he's on, he's just a big bully on the bump, and he was on. Just dominating with fastballs and sliders. I mean, look at this 98-mile-an-hour paint. Here's an overlay of his fastball and slider, and you can see why that combination is deadly. That slider looks like a big, fat meatball fastball, and then disappears. And he gets him. Now on to my filthiest relievers. Devin Williams had this sick airbender. Adam Adovino had this mean 95-mile-an-hour sinker, and then this 88-mile-an-hour bowel-locking cutter. 
Kenley Jansen had three strikeouts thanks to these wicked sinkers and cutters. And Josh Hader returned with his vicious slider, picking up his 20th save of the season. His ERA this year, 0.87. In the College World Series, check this out from Auburn's closer, Blake Burkhalter. This is a 97-mile-an-hour fastball, a 93-mile-an-hour cutter, and a 92-mile-an-hour cutter. Here's the center field view of it, and it looks filthy, don't get me wrong. But now, here's the umpire cam view of those pitches. That is insane. I mean, try catching up with that 97-mile-an-hour fastball and then having to deal with those cutters. This shows you how freaking impossible hitting is and also shows you that Major League Baseball needs to adopt a home plate camera angle, at least as an alternate view, to give fans some taste of what it's like to face this stuff. Do you agree? Leave your comments in the replies. After you've subscribed, of course. And now, my Pitching Ninja moment of zen. War baby eagle? Yeah, the bird just ended up in the dugout. You can see they're putting the cup by it, feeding it. it. Looks like it's got the hiccups. Yeah. What do you do in that case? Looking at the updated Cy Young odds on FanDuel, I obviously think they got the two favorites right. You have Sandy Alcantara in the NL, and in the AL, you have Shane McClanahan, as I mentioned today, should be the favorite. But who would your long shot be? Maybe Corbin Burns or Zach Wheeler or Max Fried in the NL? And in the AL, what about Alec Manoa? He's had a great year and certainly has a shot. And Garrett Cole with his outing last night, is that the sign of a turnaround? What do y'all think?